Hello everyone, I wanted to show you my new light modifier, Lasso Light Highlights. And this is something that I want to imitate a daylight massive window with. So it will give me beautiful soft light. I was considering getting this uh, many years ago, but I was always put off by ginormous elephant size. And I shouldn't have because it collapses and you can see here it is tiny like a pancake. So let me show you this beast. My last light is six feet by seven feet, which is roughly 182 centimeters by 213, which is quite a nice large size. It's a rectangular shape, so you can put it on either side and it has zippers on every side of it. So you can insert lamp on either side. Assembling is super easy. One person will be absolutely fine putting this together. So as you can see, it's open by itself. You don't have to do much. All you need to do is insert those sticks that you have included, the bars, and you just push against each side. Super easy. It's also a good idea to close the zips up while this is on the floor. This is how it looks like inside and the fabric is not something you have in Okta. It's very meaty, very thick kind of fabric and uh, I even seen someone taking pictures of the model being inside and should, uh, having the light from outside. Just make sure your lamp has a hood added. It's not just a bare bulb, just to be safe and not to burn any fabric. Trying to have a look if this highlight would stand by itself without any support. And yes, it does. However, I think I prefer to keep it against the wall. You can put one lamp or two lamps, it's entirely up to you. For myself, I chose to put one light because it was plenty uh, and I wanted this natural daylight so it doesn't have to be super strong. I'm using my Bowens uh, 250 Esprit lights and this is just one light I'm using and usually it's just under half power. At first it feels like it's such a ginormous thing to have, but actually if you put it on the side, it's not that thick. Like for example, your Okta would stand out way more. So it's actually not too bad. And you can also add voils to it. Okay, let's take some test shots. We're going to use two different lenses. This is actually 24 to 70 f 2.8. And let's take a look at 51.2 beautiful lens. So I decided to add three voils just to change the look a little bit so it doesn't look so bare, not necessarily to change the light because I noticed it doesn't do much to the light quality, but it does change the look. So it looks like the person stands near the window or into the window. I used just a normal pen with a little uh, thing I could uh, wrap my string around. So the pen worked like a ginormous needle going through those tunnel and joining at the ends. And voila, or should I say voila.
I asked my son Miles to help me to test it out and he said yes, which was very unusual because normally it's very, very difficult uh, if, you, if you're a photographer and you have a child and you know exactly about photographer's child syndrome where they don't want to be photographed and will pull their most horrible faces but Mars was in a very good mood that day and we had a little deal so thank you Miles all of the pictures are straight out of a camera so I didn't do any editing to them it's just how they look straight out I am so pleased with the end result, how it gives me this beautiful, soft, big window light and that's exactly what I was looking for. So when they are edited, it's going to look even better, but even straight out of the camera, it looks fantastic. Even that close to this highlight, it looks incredibly soft. I was also shooting into the light where Miles was backlit and I only brought some shadows up. I decided to do a little experiment and check what the light looks like without those foils and to be honest there's not much different in light it's just a look when the person stands next to it or against it so you can see that soft little texture Again, it's super easy to put it down. You have to just take those poles out and open the zip so the air comes out. Align those black edges to each other and then I'll show you how you collapse it. It's definitely something more you practice easier it gets and using the wall definitely helped me and taking that across and just twisting that's how I managed to do that.
I'm going to add a link in the description to my blog where I'm going to put the pictures in so you can have a bit of a better look at them. And I hope you find it useful. Please let me know if you have any questions at all and hope you enjoy that video. Till next time, bye!